How does sound travel from a source, such as a speaker, to a detector, such as an ear? Let's imagine having a speaker. The speaker is surrounded by air particles. When the speaker is turned on, it starts to vibrate. When the speaker starts to vibrate, the air particles closest to the speaker are pushed forward. These air particles hit air particles right next to them and push them forward. These air particles will then hit the air particles that are closest to them and cause them to vibrate too. These will in turn collide with the particles next to them and so on. In this way, the sound wave is carried forward away from the sources, towards our ears. Finally, the vibrating air particles reach our ears. This energy enters our eardrums and the ears can convert this kinetic energy to sound. Energy is traveling from the speaker to our ears through the collisions of the air particles. However, the air particles do not travel. They only transfer the energy from one air particle to the next. In the following video, we will think of the dominoes as being the air particles. What can you observe? So at the beginning, the finger provided a movement. This movement caused the domino closest to it to vibrate and fall. The domino bumped into its neighboring domino. In so doing, transferring its kinetic energy onto it. In turn, this domino fell and transferred its kinetic energy to the next domino. Of course, the process repeats itself. As you can see, each domino bumped into the domino in front of it. In so doing, each domino transferred the kinetic energy forward, moving away from the source. The kinetic energy moved away from the source through the collisions of the dominoes. However, only the energy traveled forward. The individual dominoes did not move. To conclude, the same happens with air particles, as they carry sound. The kinetic energy is carried forward through the collisions of the air particles, but the air particles themselves do not move away from the source to the detector.